Now we've been going on about the Run For Adventure Running Belt Showdown video for some time now and I've got to apologise, it has taken a lot longer to get this video uploaded onto the channel. But you can probably tell from the thumbnail and by what I'm holding in my hand that we have finally done it. And in total, I have tested out 10 different types of running belt from lots of different brands including Innovate, UD, Salomon, Naked Running Band, Compressed Sport and lots more. So let's dive into the video and find out which which belt wins the Run For Adventure Running Belt Showdown video and takes our top spot. Welcome back folks, I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. Thanks for joining us for another video, it's great to have you along. Now if you are new to the channel and you enjoy what you see, why not consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. It only takes a second to do and it is completely free, but it is a big help and really appreciated. So back to the topic of today's video and that is running belts. Now over the years I've run in lots and lots of different types of running belt from all kinds of brands some have performed really well and some not so good that's for sure all the way back to the days when running belt construction was very different so you had a kind of one size fits all with an adjustable waistband a big plastic sort of uncomfortable buckle on the front and then some form of sort of carrying system and bottle system all on the back of the belt I've got to say it wasn't the most comfortable or the most practical carrying system and I'm happy to say that running belt technology and development has definitely moved on these days. So there's actually some great belt options available these days. Now we've got 10 different types of running belt featuring in this video so there is a lot of information to go through so we're going to get stuck straight in and the way we're going to do this is I'm going to give you a little bit of information about each belt individually, how they're constructed and the features that they have and then I'm going to be ranking them in order from number 10 down the bottom all the way up to the belt that takes top place and then I'm going to give you the reasons for why I rank them in that way so without further ado let's dive into all the running belts and we're going to start with the most affordable one first so believe it or not the first belt on the list I actually picked up from home bargains and yep you heard me right I got this belt from Home Bargains, our favorite discount superstore for only $3.99. So super cheap, super affordable. And I've got to say it, I've actually been really impressed with how comfortable it's been to run in, the quality of the materials, the amount of stuff I could fit. Okay, you probably know I'm only joking. This has actually been terrible. Oh, sorry, sorry, but um, I won't bore you with the details because I wouldn't recommend you running in that running belt from Home Bargains. And I think we already know which belt is coming in last place. Next on the list is one of my latest additions to my running belt collection, and it comes from Decathlon, and it is their Evedict Trail Running Belt. Now, you guys have been asking me to test and review some products from Decathlon for a while now, so I thought I'd give this belt a go. We've got loads of storage options on here. So you've actually got four pockets on the front, one of which is a waterproof mobile phone pocket. If I turn it around, we've got a big stuff pocket on the center of the back, two smaller internal pockets, we get a pole carrying system, we've got a race number holder, and you even get a little bit of adjustment worked into the side of the belt. It's available in two different size options, and it retails for a very reasonable $24.99. Now the next belt on the list taking number three spot is probably one of the first running belts I ever saw to use this sort of one size stretchy band construction, and it is the classic flip belt. Now, Flip Belt as a company definitely played a big part in the brand sinking slightly differently when it came to the development of running belts. So we've got this banded construction again, and there's four little openings in the band. We've actually got a little uh, key loop in one of them, so you can attach your keys on there, keep them nice and safe. Once you've got all your items stowed away, mobile phone, gels, keys, things like that, all you do is flip the belt over, hence the name Flip Belt, to make sure everything inside it is nice and secure. Now these retail for £27, but you can definitely find them a lot cheaper on the interweb. They're available in lots of different colours, that's for sure, and they come in seven different sizes from XXS all the way up to XXL. Moving on, and the next one comes from the Salomon brand, and it is their Pulse Belt. So again, we've got that same sort of banded, one size stretchy construction, using some nice lightweight, breathable materials. And we've got several storage options worked in around the belt, including a nice secure zip pocket on the back. 
Salomon have also worked in a pole carrying system using some loops there with some internal silicon grippers. We've also got five sizes available. So from extra small all the way up to extra large. And then on the back, we've got some nice high-vis detailing for safer nighttime running. Belt number five comes from trail running specialist Innovate and it is their lightweight race belt. And this is one of the reasons why this video is taking a little bit longer than I would have liked because I wanted to test out a couple more belts before I filmed it. So this is actually one of the only belts to feature in the video that uses that kind of old school uh, one size fits all design. So we've got an adjustable waist strap with a small buckle on it and all the pockets are on the back of the belt. There's actually three liters of storage space in this belt. So we've got two little small side stuff pockets. You've then got a nice secure zipped internal compartment. On front of that is a big stuff stretchy pocket. And then we've got a real sort of substantial pole carrying system as well. So I'm actually surprised how many storage options have been fitted into a small space. We're going back to the Flip Belt brand and it is actually their Flip Belt zipper. So a very similar sort of stretchy band size construction as to the classic Flip Belt. Uh, but this time around, we've got those openings to push your goodies into, but we also get a nice secure zip pocket on the front. Also, the belt is a bit deeper, so you do get a bit of extra volume. We've still got that handy key loop feature in there as well. Again, available in lots of different color options and a, a color to suit every runner. And again, a good size run from extra to small all the way up to double XL. And they retail in the UK for 35 pounds. Okay, on to number six. And this was a running belt that really impressed me when we tested and reviewed it at the channel. And it is Ultimate Direction's Utility Belt. So this actually retails for what I thought was a very reasonable 35 pounds. Again, it's that same stretchy banded construction. We've got pockets all the way around this belt. So really good storage space. We've got four internal stuff pockets, keeping everything nice and secure close to your body. But you've also got two really good sized outer pockets as well. If I turn it around, we've got that same uh, pole carrying system using the same loops and those silicon internal grippers just to make sure that you don't get too much movement if you're running with poles. Moving on to the three most expensive belts that we've been testing and the first one up comes from Swiss company Compress Sport and it is their Free Belt Pro. Now I've had a couple of these belts over the years and I have run thousands of miles using these belts. Definitely the belt I've used the most out of all the ones we've tested. This is actually my current one. You can see I picked this up out at Chamonix at UTMB week, but my original Free Belt Pro, I must have run exclusively with that belt for about four years. Uh, I always tend to wear a belt for runs under say half marathon distance because I carry a small 250 mil soft glass of water and my mobile phone. And here's the belt. Um, I've got to say, it is looking a little bit uh, worse for wear, shall we say, as you can see me through the holes worn in the fabric. But this must have run literally thousands and thousands of miles. And I could still use it today to carry my phone and my water. I wouldn't want to put any small items in it because of all the holes in it, but it's still going. And again, lots of miles covered in that belt. Back to my current one. Uh, these retail for 40 pounds. They are available in three different sizes. So they do an extra small, small, a medium large, and an extra large double XL. It is one whole pocket. So unlike some of the other belts with a segregated, this is just one massive pocket. So you can literally stuff loads of kit in it and put it wherever you like. Again, on the back, we've got them same pole loops with silicon grippers, and we've got that good old race number holder on the front. Moving on to the penultimate belt, and we are going back to the Salomon brand this time, and it is their advanced skin running belt. So this has actually taken a lot of its design traits from the brilliant advanced skin 12 set hydration vests that Salomon produce. So we've got very lightweight, breathable fabrics, and obviously lots of storage worked in as well. So we've got a nice stretchy pocket on the front, perfect for a Salomon soft flask. And then on the back, running the entire length of the belt, we've got a big stuff pocket that you can access from either side of the belt. And then Salomon have also worked in a nice secure, good size zip pocket on top of that. So kind of doubling up the storage volume. Uh, it retails for 40 pounds here in the UK. Again, available in five different sizes from extra small through to extra large. We've got a handy little key tag in the front. So again, you can clip those keys in, making sure they stay nice and safe to keep give you peace of mind. And on the back, 
we have the obligatory pole carrying system with those silicon grippers inside the loops and we get a little bit of high-vis detailing for safer nighttime running. And finally, moving on to belt number 10, and it is the Naked Running Band. Now, it took us a while to get hold of one of these because as far as I can see, it's only the Centurion Running Store that stocks this belt in the UK. And unfortunately, they didn't have my size for a long time. So I had to wait for them to restock. Most expensive belt in the test, retailing at a pretty pricey 53 pounds. But you really can see that there's been a lot of thought and a lot of attention put into the design and they really have got the runner in mind. It's constructed using some lightweight, highly breathable, very technical power mesh fabric. We've obviously got pockets all the way around the belt, but Naked have chosen to segregate those pockets. So you actually get three really good sized internal stuff pockets, perfect for your soft flask, your bottles, your nutrition, things like that. On the pockets, you've got these really good sized tabs. So that makes it really easy to access any of your kit while you're on the move. And then turning it around, we've obviously got that same looped pole carrying system. It actually works really well on this belt and we've got some really good grippers internally. And then we have a really good quality race number holder on the front. So there you have it. That is all the running belts that I've been testing out for the video. And you can see that the sort of stretchy band design really has taken the running belt world by storm. And I think that's a great thing because it is a much more comfortable and practical option when it comes to our running belts. But we've reached that all important part of the video where we need to rank all these belts in order when it comes to comfort, practicality, build quality and price. So let's dive into the belts and find out which one comes out on top. Obviously taking our number 10 spot is the Home Bargains running belt. Now at $3.99, I really wasn't expecting a lot. And let's be honest, I didn't get a lot and I can't really see how they're pitching this as a running belt because you could probably fit a couple of gels in there at the most, maybe the smallest mobile phone in the world and the build quality isn't great and it isn't that comfortable to run with. So I always think, you know, you get what you pay for in the running world. And I think this is a perfect example of that. And it's a bit of a false economy. You'd be much better off investing in a more expensive belt that's going to be practical, functional and last a long time. So uh, when it comes to the Home Bargains running belt, maybe give this one a miss. Next up is the Flip Belt Classic. Now we have to give these guys some credit because they really did play a big part as far as pushing the development and design of running belts on. Unfortunately, I think a lot of the other brands caught up and have overtaken it. So maybe not the most functional belt in the world these days. Uh, it is quite heavy material. It's not that breathable. It's quite a slim design. So there's not that much volume in there and it can be pretty awkward trying to get things out of the belt through these tiny slits if you're running at any pace. Uh, Liga uses the flip belt all the time. She loves her flip belt. She really gets on with it and it works well for her. Maybe I'm not as big a fan and I just personally think that there's a lot of running belts out there for a very similar price point that just perform better. Coming in at number eight is the Salomon Pulse Belt. Now, this belt has performed quite well. The fabric is nice and lightweight, nice and breathable. You get very little sort of movement or bouncing when you're running with the belt, but I did find it quite hard to utilize all the storage. Some of the pockets are quite hard to access or get to, uh, especially the zip pocket on the back. It's a funny shape. It makes it quite hard to stow anything away. And that's actually been made even harder by the fact that the zip is completely bunged up. So I can't open that pocket anymore. Now, I don't think that's necessarily down to the quality of the zip. I think it's more down to the lack of my care and attention. But like I said, it's, it's a good belt, but I think it could perform better. So I would personally choose to spend eight pounds more and get the better performing advanced skin belt. And moving on to the latest addition to uh, my belt collection, and that is the Innovate Race Belt. Now, I've got to be honest, I'm not a massive fan of this sort of old school design of having all the storage space on the back and then having a one size fits all adjustable strap with a plastic buckle on it. You know, if you fully loaded this belt uh, with a 500 mil soft flask, a bit of kit and your running poles, that is a lot of weight hanging off the back of this belt. And I'm not sure how comfortable it would stay having all that weight and then that strap digging into your midriff. I think personally that the banded design is just a much more comfortable practical design you can distribute that way all around the belt so you're a lot less likely to get any movement or any bounce and surely that will stay comfortable for longer periods of time so i think for that 35 pound price point you can get maybe a more comfortable more functional belt that's going to perform better and 
maybe the Innovate belt is a little bit dated. We've got the flip belt zipper up next. So there has been quite a lot of changes made to this compared to the classic flip belt. I think the fact that it's a lot wider or a lot deeper gives you way more storage volume. Yes, you've still got those small openings to stow stuff away. And we've got that handy key loop. Maybe the fabric isn't um, as breathable, uh, isn't as lightweight as some of the other belts, but I really think the addition of that big zip pocket, a nice secure pocket on the front of the belt really has upped the performance of the flip belt. Okay, so moving on to our top five, and I personally think that these are all really good functional running belts, and I'd be happy to run in any of them. They've all got really good storage options that are super accessible on the move, and they're all constructed using that stretchy sort of band bounce-free design, but there is some subtle differences that stand them apart. So coming in at number five is the Evadict trail running belt from Decathlon. For the very affordable price of £25, I actually think this is a really good running belt. I've actually been surprised in the quality of the manufacturing, the amount of storage. So we've got them two small stuff pockets. We've then got that big stuff pocket. We've also got the big stuff pocket on the back. And then you've got that real handy feature of a waterproof mobile phone pocket. Now, I don't know how waterproof this pocket is, but Decathlon do claim it's waterproof and you might struggle to get one of the bigger mobile phones nowadays inside it, but I still think it's a great feature. Obviously, we've got the addition of pole loops on the back and we've got a race number holder on the front. So it really does have everything. And for that price point, like I say, it performed extremely well. The only thing that let it down for me is the fact that there's only two sizes available. So to fit Extra small, small, medium within one size range is a pretty tricky thing to do. And obviously, like I mentioned, you do get this adjustment system on either side of the belt, which actually works really, really well. So I went for a large, extra large, double XL, and I really do have to pull that cord system down to probably its maximum load to get a good fit on the belt. Uh, a really good feature though, once you have pulled that cord down, there's a little pocket to stow away that cord to keep it out of the way, which was a really nice attention to detail, I thought. I personally think if they'd have offered maybe three sizes, so uh, an extra small, small, a medium large, an extra large, double XL, the belt would have fitted me a lot better. So maybe I'm sort of in between the two sizes, but I think if they did offer those three sizes, then this belt would have definitely come in the top three. So in at number four is Ultimate Direction's utility belt. Again, I think another great option for the price point of £35. I'm really impressed with the quality of manufacturing, great fabrics, really good attention to detail when it comes to all the stitching and things like that. Obviously, lots of storage options with pockets all the way around. We got nice pull tabs to make it really easy to get in and out of those pockets. And again, we've got that sort of stretchy bounce free design. So kind of everything you'd want from your running belt. The only thing that marks it down a bit compared to the three belts above it is I think the pole carrying system needs to be a bit more substantial. Maybe the loops need to be a bit wider and a bit tighter just to make sure that they keep those poles nice and secure when you're running with them. And maybe the outer fabric isn't quite as breathable as some of the other belts. But apart from that, I still think for the money, this is a great running belt option. And moving on to our top three and taking the third step on our podium here at Run For Adventure is Salomon's Advanced Skin Belt. I'm a big fan of this belt and I tend to run in it pretty much every week at some point. I really like the lightweight construction, it's highly breathable, and you've got all those storage options to stow away all those essentials, whether you're training and racing. The only thing it doesn't have is a race number holder, which is something I look for in my running belts because I tend to race with them. So it's always nice to have that feature on the front so I don't have to pin race numbers through my nice technical running kit. Okay, so we are down to the last two belts. So we have the Compressed Sport Free Belt Pro and the Naked Running Band. Both fantastic running belts, that's for sure. Using some great technical fabric, so nice and lightweight, highly breathable. They've obviously both got that bounce-free banded design. You can fit lots of kit in both of them. And we've obviously got a good substantial pole carrying system and a race number holder on the front of both belts. So can I get a drum roll, please? and the belt taking the top spot at Run For Adventure's running belt showdown is... Just, just building the tension, guys. I'll get to it in a minute. So the belt taking the top spot here in our running belt showdown is... 
the Compress Sport Free Belt Pro. Now this really was a close thing and I almost called it a tie because I really enjoy running in both belts and I think they perform equally as well. And there is a few pros and cons between the two. So I think the uh, power mesh used on the Naked Band is a little bit lighter, it is a bit more breathable, but I do like the soft feel of the compressed sport fabric and I think it just keeps the belt a little bit more comfortable if you're wearing it for long periods of time. And They've both got a real good quality pole carrying system on the back. Definitely the best pole carrying system out of all the belts we tested. I think the fact that Naked offer 12 different sizes in their running band is super impressive and it really does highlight that the brand want to offer the best for its customers so that you can have as many size options to choose from so you can get the right fit for your body shape. Unfortunately, this does come at a price. So retailing for £53, it makes it £13 more expensive than the Compress Sport Free Belt Pro. And that does make a big difference in the price point. The only other thing that stands these two belts apart for me, and this is totally a personal thing, the fact that the Naked brand decided to put this small divider in the front pocket to segregate it, doesn't work out best for me when it comes to the things that I want to carry on my run. Uh, surely, I think a better option would have been just to have one large stuff pocket running across the front like all the other belts have because then you could stow away your soft flask or your plastic bowl or your mobile phone nice and flat across your stomach. Like I mentioned, I like to carry a soft flask and my mobile phone when I run and having that divider, it did make it a little bit awkward. I could still do it, but it was a little bit more awkward. Whereas the Compressed Sport Free Belt Pro is just one solid pocket. So it just makes it a little bit easier for me to stow away all the things I want to take with me out on a run. So there you have it folks, we have finally uploaded the Run For Adventure Running Belt Showdown video. Uh, sorry it took a little bit longer than we thought, but I really wanted to test out a big selection of belts before we filmed it. Uh, like I said earlier, I've been really impressed with all the belts that have featured in our top five, and I'd happily run in any of those. So what I'll do is I'll link all the belts that are featured in this video in the description below if you want to check them out in a bit more detail. Uh, we've also done a few in-depth reviews on some of the belts, so I'll link them down there as well. But really hope you enjoyed it, really hope you found it helpful when it comes to making that all-important decision of which running belt is going to suit your needs best. But until next time, folks, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. We'll be back here very soon, and as always, stay safe and keep on running. And it cost me the grand sum of only $3.99, and I've got to be, uh, I've got to be impressed, no. Next belt on the list is one of my most recent additions to my running belt collection, uh, and it... Uh, We've got four pockets on the front, uh, three stuff pockets, but also a waterproof mo mobile phone pocket. On the back, we've got a big stuff pocket with two smaller little eter eternal, internal. Next belt on the list is probably the most, is, uh, <laughs>